Jonathan M0JSX here at Martin Lynch and & Sons and we're going to do a quick unboxing, quick overview uh, of the TYT MD9600. Now we are still awaiting our stock but we've got a few samples in and we thought it was high time to have a look at what you actually get inside the box with all these and a few of the features of the radio. So let's start. Now I will be honest, this one has been out of the box before so I have packaged it back up. Um, so it, this is not the complete fresh unboxing experience but it's, it's close enough and it'll give you a general idea. So opening up the radio, you see initially you get the, um, uh, the instruction manual, which of course being a DMR radio and being um, uh, something that you need to program up. This goes over the basic functions that are common to all code plugs, so don't expect this as a complete user guide. It's a, it's a sort of basic thing. Uh, you also get the radio itself. We'll come back to that in just a moment. Taking off the top tray, you also get the microphone. He says, time for out. You get the microphone, uh, which is IP54 rated. And you've also got things to expect, power cable, uh, some, uh, some mounting screws and a microphone bracket and a couple of spare fuses and also the, uh, the mounting bracket itself. So that's what you get in the box. Now, the one thing that I am missing here and that you will get when you buy your uh, radio from us is a uh, programming cable. We are supplying one with the radio. Uh, I don't have one here because Gary, who is on holiday at the moment, has taken it away with him to play with one of the radios that he's got. So you will get one, but I haven't got one to show you, but I'm sure you've seen a programming cable in the past. It just plugs into the microphone socket on the radio. So let's uh, let's get the radio out and we'll have a quick look at that. So it comes to part of us in a, in a lovely blue plastic bag. I cannot guarantee the one you get will be blue, but you get it in a plastic bag anyway. And that's the radio itself. Now our one, as I say, it has been out of the, uh, of the box before, so it has got a, a little bit of um, peelage on the, on the screen protector there. But uh, other than that, it's, it's very nice. The, it's quite a heavy radio. It probably weighs the same, maybe a little bit more than something like the ASU FT8900. It's that sort of size. It's got a lovely big screen on it and all the functions are on the, are on the head. Now there's been a few questions about whether the head itself is uh, remotable. Unfortunately it's not. Um, it is permanently attached to the body of the radio. Uh, whether this is something that TYT might address in the future, I don't know. That's me commenting. Uh, but at the moment it is firmly attached and I can't see a way of easily detaching it without disassembling the entire radio. Right, next thing we do, we'll, we'll get it powered up and we'll have a look at some of the basic menus. We've now got the radio powered up and uh, we've got the microphone attached. And let's start with the microphone because it's one of the reasons that we um, delayed uh, the radio. We noticed an odd thing with the original sample in the, the, the microphone, you may not be able to see under this lighting, but it's backlit, which looks really nice in the dark. But the, uh, when you turn the radio off, the backlight on the microphone would stay on, which we thought was a bit odd. Uh, so we went off to TYT, we, we asked them, can you have a look at this? And they did, but that's one of the reasons they delayed uh, the shipment of the radios because they wanted to get that fixed, um, which they have now done with our latest sample. They have fixed that and that issue uh, doesn't present itself uh, at all. So that's the microphone, uh, everything you'd expect on there. You know, you can change the channels, you can go up, down, and a few uh, programmable keys there. They emulate the keys that are on the front of the radio. So that's, that's the microphone. Uh, let's look at the radio itself. Now, as I said, this one has been out of the box before, and it has been on display in our showroom. So you can see the, uh, the peel on the uh, screen is just starting to peel off there. Uh, but it's very nice. It's, um, it's a complete unit. The head doesn't come off, unfortunately. That's one of the questions we have had as to whether the, the head of the unit does come off. It doesn't. It is firmly attached. Whether that's something that TYT may be working on, a version of it with a remotable head, I don't know. But certainly on the MD9600, that is firmly attached. And in order to remove it would require quite a lot of deconstruction. Uh, so let's look around the radio. You've got a power button up in the uh, up in the top left, um, and directly below you've got the volume control. Uh, over the other side, you've got the uh, channel uh, selector knob, and also where you where you plug the microphone in. And you've got uh, up down channels, the enter button, which also doubles up as the menu key, and you've also got a band button down there, which which toggles between the A and B band on the radio. And then let's say four programmable buttons along the bottom. Uh, so navigating the radio, very simple. Um, 
as I say, it's very similar to either an MD2017 or an RT82. And in fact, either of those code plugs will work in this radio. So if you've got a, a code plug for, a, for an RT82, say, you can load it up into the software for the MD9600 and with just a few tweaks, you can get it to work. But basically all your channels and all your zones will already be there. Uh, so navigating it, obviously press the enter button, it goes into the menu. So you can go through all of the things you'd expect. So contacts, scan, zone, uh, messages, uh, call log, utilities, and you're back to the top again. Um, the radio is, is fairly basic when it comes to DMR. It's very nice. Um, the sensitivity of the radio is, is uh, comparable with other uh, radios I've tried, and I took this one home with me over the weekend and, and ran it on my antenna at home, and I got all of the repeaters I'd expect to get uh, from my home location, which unfortunately isn't that many, but uh, there we go. We had an update from TYT earlier on today. Uh, the update said that they are, uh, they've are they identified a couple more issues that they would like to get sorted before they ship our radios. Um, so there is a little bit more of a delay, but they will be with us very soon. Uh, retail on these is, is likely to be $279.95, and as soon as they are available, we will, of course, post them on the website online at hamradio.co.uk. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave them in the comments below. We will ask them there uh, or give us a call on 0345 2300 599. Till the next time. Bye bye.